Welcome to the Coach's Corner. I'm Joe Wamba, joined now with Dave Verdan, head coach of the men's and women's cross-country teams. And coach, a little disappointing not being able to go to down to Disney with the men's team. Of course, the hurricane uh, taking an effect in there. But keeping the, the athletes safe is our utmost concern, and our heart goes out to those people affected down there. But you guys were still able to turn around and compete a lot closer to home at going to DeSales. Yeah, so we ended up getting into the DeSales Invitational. It was nice of the coaches to let us in last minute. Um, it was actually, it was good for us because if we weren't going to Disney, we probably would have gone to that Invitational. They got to see a lot of the teams that they're going to see at the conference meet and the regional meet. And it's the, cor it's the course that regionals are on on November 12th. So they got a chance to see that course as well. I mean, that's got to be highly important, getting able to be used to that type of terrain that's going to be involved up there. Definitely, and it w the course was a lot more challenging than I thought it would be, so uh, I'm, I'm happy that we went up and got a chance to see it, and they got a feel, a feel for it by racing on it as well. And the regularly scheduled meets that you had on the calendar, uh, women going to Goucher, uh, Kayla picking up her first uh, first individual win, yeah. and the men also having a good fun. Good finish. Yeah, so the men got second overall, and then the woman actually won the Invitational for the second year in a row. Um, Kayla Bias, like you said, I mean, she got her first individual win, which is really exciting. Mm -hmm. That's and getting those types of experiences is going to be wildly important heading into the next few weeks. Uh, conference championships coming up in two weeks. The women are kind of a little bit off. May you said may be competing uh, next weekend. Men will be competing next weekend. <laughs> this time of the calendar is going to be widely important for you. Yeah, so for the most part, um, most of the men and women are off now until the conference meet. I will bring a handful of men up to Lebanon Valley next week mm -hmm. to get, have them get a chance to run. Some of the people that aren't going to get a chance to run at the, the conference meet and the regional meet, so they still get another chance to get a race in. And on a personal note, the team's off next weekend, but you're going to be running in the Baltimore Marathon. We're uh, yeah. you know, defending winner. Yes, yeah. so yeah, two out of the last three years, and it's this Saturday, so. Yeah, that's very soon. We'll all be uh, watching for that, and I think it's on 98 Rock. They they get you on the interview. I heard you last year when I was coming in for the homecoming game, actually. Yep. Uh, on the interview, so I'll be looking out to to hear you on that show again. That and it's live on WBAL on TV as well. Wonderful. Watch it on WBAL. And uh, coach, we wish you the best of luck in the teams uh, in their competitions coming up in the conference championship and regional turn or regional meet coming up. Mm -hmm. Thank you. He's Dave Berdan, I'm Joe Wom, and this has been the Coach's Corner.